Right, thank you. Good morning. It's good to have uh, an assembly after such a long time, especially on this special morning that marks the beginning of the work that's going on to, to celebrate the Olympics. I'll hand over to the sports leaders. The Olympic flame is now on its 30th day, travelling the length and breadth of the British Isles as it is transferred from one torchbearer to another, before arriving in London to mark the start of this summer's Olympic Games on the 27th of July. Some of you may have seen the flame on its journey through the West Country, and our, own, our very own Emma McLean in Year 13 had the honour of being a torchbearer on the stretch of the flames route through Exeter. The Olympic flame symbolises the continuity between the ancient and modern games and is intended to spread the message of peace, <coughs> unity and friendship. However, the flame's journey has not always been a peaceful one and in 2008 there were various attempts to stop the Olympic flame as it travelled across the world to Beijing. Many felt China's, China's human rights record made a mockery of the Olympic ideal and some of you may recall seeing the torch being grabbed by a protester as it was run by Blue Peter's Connie Huck through London. The 2012 British torch relay has seen little controversy, mainly unity and celebration. The torch has even passed across the Northern Irish border and travelled south to Dublin, reflecting most people's hopes for a continued improvement in Anglo-Irish relations. Who would ever have thought torchbearers Jedwood would play a part in Olympic history? Next week is National Schools Sports Week, when schools around the country will be celebrating this summer's Olympic Games. To mark the start of Colleton Grammar School celebrations, Year 11 A-level a D&T students have designed and produced our very own Olympic celebratory torch, which will travel between six of us, six of our neighbouring primary schools, marking the start of their celebrations. The torch has taken a term to make and has allowed the design and technology students to work alongside professionals at Pico in Beer using their laser machine to engrave the torch with the school's names and the Olympic values. Friendship, excellence, respect, courage, determination, inspiration and equality. This torch starts its first leg of our learning community relay today when Year 12 sports leaders will set off in a moment to run approximately four miles out to Beer Primary School. During the course of the week, the torch will pass through the, hand, the hands of over 700 children as it moves from Britain Primary School to Seaton, Musbury, Kilmington, Chute and finally to Colleton Primary, whose children will bring the torch back to us on Friday afternoon. This torch will allow the children in our community to feel very much a part of the 2012 celebrations and will enable every single one of them to be part of their own Olympic relay. This may inspire some of them to be Olympians of the future. We would like to say a big thank you to Miss Carter and her team of students for making this possible. Please wish our Year 12 sports leaders well on their run to beer and thank you for joining us today on the first stage of our 2012 Olympic Celebratory Relay. Thank you. Right, thank you very much. Thank you to everyone who's been involved in either the design, the manufacture, the sports events, Mrs Harris for organising the whole event and it's going to be quite an exciting fortnight I think. So thank you very much for all of you and I hope you have a good run this morning. Can I ask the sixth form to head off first of all, please? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. 